Cecily Hitchcock. Before I start, uh, what do you guys think of my outfit? A wink. Uh, Wanted to dress a bit cool, because I'm a bit single. I was hoping there'd be some single guys in. I've uh, been single for a little while now. The only category of porn I've been able to come over is please don't leave in the morning. It's not even porn, it's a live stream of a happy couple. Uh, boys don't seem to like me very much. They only seem to like me because I can sing really well. Like a lot of boys say I'm like Whitney Houston. Everyone wishes I'd die in the bath. <laughs> you got any guys from South London in? Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. I'm actually, oh, you as well. Wasn't asking you. <laughs> I'm actually on a South London based dating app. It's called Bumble Clart. I'm kind of having at the moment what some people call like a slut era, but I've not been calling it that. I've been calling it like a lazy Susan era. Everyone's had a dip in my tarmacil archer. Thrush isn't a joke. A lot of guys don't like me very much. Uh, I think I figured it out though. I think it's because I'm weird. I know I don't look weird. Yep. I know I don't look weird, because I look a bit like if, uh, if Molly May went to Butler instead of Love Island. <laughs> I'm an okay little thing, but I am. You got it, shop better. <laughs> but I am, I'm kind of weird, guys. Uh, and I've been trying to date out of my normal pool, because the normal guys aren't going for me. Like, for example, I went out with this guy recently who was really adventurous. And by adventurous, I mean like he liked to get fisted. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Don't, don't knock it, don't knock it. I wasn't bothered, you know. It's like if you put your hand up, it's like touching food in the sink. It was all Nando's once. <laughs> but apparently, I'm the weird one. When I put my hand up there, plonked him on my lap, and pretended he was a ventriloquist dummy. You can move in if you want. I love you. I then went out with this Christian guy. That was pretty rogue. And he didn't like me, because I said that I think that Jesus looks like he's politely telling a barman that he's next to be served. <laughs> the one kind of guy that I just cannot go out with, though, is fish guys. Guys who pose with fish. Got any fish poses in the audience? I know you're out there. Come out there. Come out there. Tell me now. Tell me now. Where are you? There's nothing that screams, fuck me, more than you crouching in the dark in the bushes holding a massive trout. <laughs> and I always wonder how the fish feels. I always wonder. Like, can you imagine you're swimming around your house and a strange man pulls you out and goes, keep still, I just want to take some pictures. <laughs> oh, you big. <laughs> Perverts. So I've been trying to find a middle ground. I've been going out with Clapham guys. Arguably the worst, right? Yeah. Uh, the reason why I've been going out with him, though, is because I'm very clever. Because uh, I'm very skint. And I've been training my pussy to steal their signet rings when they finger me. <laughs> clang, clang, clang. They call me Pussy Go Jangles. Truth is, guys, I get very bored in relationships pretty quickly. I don't really put much effort in after a while on the sex. Sex takes a little bit of a hit, doesn't it? Like in the start, I give hand jobs like I'm reloading a shotgun. So I'll suck you off later, calm down. It won't be hard, because I know how small it is, just get past the two. Good night, the bin. I didn't realise Neanderthals did stag do's. <laughs> Thanks, baby. But the truth is, guys, I get bored pretty quickly. Uh, the sex takes a little bit of a hit after a while. In the start, I give hand jobs like I'm reloading a shotgun. Just <laughs> <laughs> and after a while, I'm like a, uh, an 1800s farmhand milking a cow. <laughs> 